Hi, this is David again, and I'm going to do a video here on uh, Jesus points. How do you get Jesus points? One of the things about all religions, I guess, um, but keenly the Mormon Church, is that there are certain things that you can do to um, enhance your book of life. The Mormons believe uh, very much in the uh, judgment and that Joseph Smith and uh, many Mormon uh, authorities uh, at Adam on Diamon, if you've never heard of that, look that up on the computer. There's a joke and a half too, that during the millennium, Adam on Diamon, I have been on Adam on Diamon, it's just a great big huge open uh, bean field or wheat field, or uh, some of it's just undeveloped, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the United States, I can't even remember what state it's in. But anyway, um, one of the things that the Mormon Church does believe in, and here's the problem, it doesn't write this stuff down. It doesn't say this. So they have plausible deniability all the time. Uh, Hinckley said to, uh, to uh, Mike Wallace in the uh, interview that he lied about, when Mike Wallace said, uh, do you think um, the Mormon Church uh, isn't one of their doctrines, you can become gods. And Hinckley looked him in the eye, the Hinkster says, I don't think we teach that. Well, he didn't evidently read uh, D&C 132, which the Mormon Church hasn't taken out there yet. They'll cleanse that. They'll sanitize their uh, D&C. They've done that a million times. Whitened the lightsome in the Book of Mormon. It disappeared. It's white and wholesome now. Or it's not white. It's a... Uh, uh, um, uh, I can't think of what it is. It'll come to me. <clears throat> anyway, let me tell you about Jesus' points, okay? The Mormons believe there will be a judgment and that uh, Joseph Smith and uh, others uh, will uh, be in charge uh, with Jesus in that judgment. Now, let me tell you something else the Mormons say. I think this one is written. I think if you hit the internet, you'll get the, this one written. That Jesus Christ is the most um, uh, prominent figure in man's salvation. Joseph Smith is second to Jesus Christ. That's written. That's there. You can go and get the Mormons and go, hey, that's written. Oh, we don't believe that anymore. Oh, uh, I think that he wasn't talking as a prophet. That he was just talking. At, they'll have all of the cult uh, regurgitations that come out. But the Mormon Church does believe that Joseph Smith is second only unto Christ for man's salvation. Now, there's a joke and a half. But anyway, be that as it may. They believe that Brigham Young, he said it, um, that this temple ceremony that uh, I've been through, I've been in the Mormon church over 50 years, then I resigned, I've been out so I several years, six, seven years now, and um, I've come to my senses. The Mormon ceremony, according to Brigham Young, is that you're going to be walking along a path, I guess with millions of people behind you, and there's going to be angel post along that path. And when you come up to the angel, the angel will say, what is that? And you'll say, the first token of the Aaronic priesthood. Then you go to the next angel, and he'll say, has it a name? And, it's, and then the next angel will say, yes. Or you'll say, yes. Then you go to the next angel, uh, and, and you'll say, you know, uh, the, the son, or your first given name. And is that the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the sign of the nail? Yes. Does it have a name? Yes. You go to the next angel, the next angel, and you go along there until you get to the patriarchal grip, and then they'll say, well, you know, what is that? The patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. Uh, and you'll continue along that path. And I guess you'll be doing that in your garments so they know you're a Mormon. All the other people, I think, are naked. I don't know. Because, again, none of this makes sense. But the Mormons, they think it does. So you're walking this path. You're giving all these sign tokens and symbols to the angel uh, guard shacks. And you're wearing your garments. Everybody else behind you is naked. And uh, the Mormons believe that uh, <laughs> if you're not one of them, uh, you're going to lose your penis and your vagina is going to heal over. You will not have sex organs if you don't get to the celestial kingdom, the top of the kingdom. Oh, there's a motivation. Oh, that's not a cult. God, I'm going to lose my penis. I'm going to join. Take my 10%. I want to hold on to my penis. So, that's what Brigham Young says. Okay. 
That's how you get there. Then I guess you get to the bar of judgment. Joseph Smith is right there, sitting beside Jesus Christ. Right? Does that make sense to anybody? It does to the Mormons. So, now Jesus, he opens up the book of life. I think that's mentioned in the Bible. I think the book of life is mentioned in, in the, uh, the Testaments of the Bible. And they're going to read all the shit you've done. All the things you've done. Evil, evil, evil. But it's erased. The atonement of Christ, if you believe in Christ. That side of the book all erased. Okay, now what do you have? Well, you have the good things you did. Did you do enough works? The Mormon church doesn't believe in being saved by grace. Uh, they believe that you have to work uh, for your salvation. Do everything that you can, and then what's left over, grace will bring you in. So that's one of its main contentions with modern Christianity. Uh, Christianity. So, they open the book of life and they'll say, David, we see here that uh, you uh, did this and did that. Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says, okay, that's two points. Go, well, sir, how many points do I need to get in here? Oh, we don't tell you that. It's sacred. It's a secret. We don't know, and I know, but you don't know, because I'm a Mormon. I'm a Mormon Jesus. Look, at here's my garments. Here's my garments. I'm the Mormon Jesus. So, what I'm getting to is this. If you're a Mormon, you're really into points. You are really into points. You don't know how much each action uh, is valued as points. Some points you might be able to, you know, uh, walk a demonstration that I'm a Mormon and the Mormon church is true. There's 10 points. You know, you might make a phone call and somebody says something bad about the church. You said, no, I believe it's true. There's one point. So I don't know what the system is and neither do the damn Mormons. They just come up with this stupid stuff. And then when you ask them the question of, well, how does this work? They go, oh, God works in mysterious ways. His ways are not our ways. Oh, this will all be taken care of during the millennium. So, well, I don't want to live to the millennium. Could I just know now, please, so I could do some good things for high points? No, no. It's sacred. It's secret. So, anyway, the point of this uh, conversation with my own camera, and, uh, you know, I did hit over 5,000 people yesterday. Not in one day. <laughs> in a month and a half, 5,000 people have looked at me. Probably most of them throwing up. I don't know. The point of this is that when Mormons attack you, they really believe in their head they're getting points. That the book of life, Jesus and his angels are writing down. Oh, oh, uh, Kay Smith down there. She went to seminary and she had a, no, a new member there and she brought her into the church. And oh my gosh, she got baptized. There's another 20 points. Oh, she's paying tithing. There's 50 points. That's the highest one right there. She's paying money to the general authorities. That's where you get the most points. Well, that's why the Mormons take 12-15% of their gross income and send it off to Salt Lake City. And in Salt Lake area, we live like kings. The rest of you in New Zealand and Peru and, and Nicaragua and uh, Saudi Arabia, we don't give shit to. I went to the Philippines. They didn't even have a drinking fountain in their building. The steak center didn't have a drinking fountain. We've got four refrigerated fountains in every chapel. And we have a chapel every three blocks in Utah. So, you want Mormons to have points? Great. If Mormons believe in points, that's great. I'm only reporting what I've seen and what I've heard. And you get pats on the back and you get hugs and you get love bombing for attacking non-members and or attacking anti-Mormon uh, thought, literature, movies, these videos. Now the reason, the reason 98% of my comments on my comment board that comes in from YouTube are from the Mormons. When I look at demographics, 40% of the people who look at my tapes are Mormon. That's against the law. That's against the morality of the Mormon church. If you're a Mormon, you can't be looking at this. The reason, the reason that so many people on demographics in Utah, they're using mobile devices. They're afraid their husband or their wife, it's like pornography, is going to catch them. And, you know, so they go out on their iPhones or somewhere else on a mobile device and, and they hit me and they take a look at the videos. 
So they're not even supposed to be looking. So that's minus five. Every time you look at, at one of David's videos, you lose five Jesus points. Oh, God. Well, now, how do you make that five up? It's fair. You write to David and you say, you are fat, you are ugly, you are stupid, you are uneducated, you are a liar, you weren't in the church, you don't know what you're talking about. Man, you get those five points back. There it is. I don't erase my comments, none of them. Since I've been on YouTube, you can go and look at every comment that I've made and every comment other people have made. The rude, the crude, and the uh, um, comments that are out of boundary are always the Mormons. Why? Because they're watching, they're losing points watching, they must make those points up, and if they ever get caught looking at one of my videos, they'll say, well, look at my comment, look at my comment, I told him he was fat. I say, well, we can all look at the video and see that he's fat. I told him he was not spiritual. Oh, okay. So, see? Always plausibility, deniability. It's part of the Mormon cult. Mormons love to get Jesus points. They're very important to a Mormon. And the only way they can look at pornography or the only way they can look at the internet and look at facts, figures, and the truth is they always have to leave some kind of pile of shit behind. That's what they do. Go look at my comments. I'm not lying. Go look at my comments and see how ugly and mean and distressful and afraid and guilty these people are. They can't just put the video on and go, oh, that guy's crazy. Nah, I don't like him. Goodbye. Turn it off and go, nah. If they looked at it, they got to get those Jesus points back because they lost Jesus points looking at me. Well, that's the way their church works. And I didn't like it. That's why I resigned. I'm not excommunicated. I've never been in a court. I worked in the temple. I've been in elders' court presidency, state presidency. I was there 50 years, never inactive. Temple recommend 14 children. So don't tell me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been there. I've done that. I'm telling you what I've seen with my own eyes, heard with my own ears. There are two churches in the Mormon philosophy. One of them is the one that they write and they smile and they got little ponytails on and, and little frilly things on their dresses and the men are all looking like they have glasses and they're an attorney or a CPA and their writings, oh, we love everybody, Jesus is the Christ, we love black people. It goes on and on and on, written. I lived it under the table. That's where the real Mormon church is. That's why people who are looking at Mitt Romney think, gee, you know, he has a good presentation. He's a handsome man, a little gray here, like he's got wisdom and he walks like a state president, talks like a state president. Don't be stupid. Look under the table. Go to a Mormon church, mormon.org, mormon.org. Let me give him all the advertisements I can. Go look at the geeks. Go look at the fools. Go look at the losers on Mormon.org. And then wonder, how did those people film themselves? Did the Mormon church take a camera crew down there and, and film the black girls like they're all uh, active in the Mormon church? The Mormon church is an unseen cultural disaster. It is a cult, in my opinion. There's way too many cult behaviors not to be called a cult. So if you just read and look at the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and they're all smiling and they're all happy, yeah. It's what the KKK looks like before they get into their hoods. The Mormon church is looking for Jesus points and they can get them by killing Gentiles, non-Mormons, the Mountain Meadows Massacre, uh, the Danites, I've been corrected on that, it wasn't Danites, it's Danites. Uh, assassinations and murders by Brigham Young and Joseph Smith. Look at the Mormon church, what it's done. When you go to the Journal of Discourses or the Documented History of the Church, B.H. Roberts, you can't hardly find him anymore. You can only find him on the internet. I got a whole copy on the internet. You know why? Because they say so many stupid, ugly things that the Mormons are so humiliated and embarrassed, they're playing like the hingster. Uh, we don't teach that anymore. They don't teach that man is going to become a god? How come it's in D&C 132? So here's the problem. You don't see the real Mormon church. 
unless you get your ass in there. Go sit on one of their benches. I'm trying to help convert people to the Mormon church. I'm not anti-Mormon. Go see for yourself. Go see 13 kids on a bench and two or three wives in the FLDS people just down the road over here. Or go to a regular Mormon church. Or go to .org. .org. Go look at the Journal of Discourses where Brigham Young basically says if you marry a black person, you should be killed and the black person and any of the children. Go look at uh, Joseph Smith. He had to marry two 14-year-olds because there was an angel with a flaming sword chasing him around the room. How come that angel never came to my house? No one's ever told me to marry two 14-year-olds. And if they did, I'd go, well, you know what? That's, that's kind of against the law of the United States. I don't want to go to jail. I think I'll just stay obeying the law. Joseph didn't. Joseph did, yo, bring those 14 years and 16 years, bring him in, bring, and 10 men whose wives, I like him, his wife is good looking, man, I'm going to marry her. He married 10 women that were already married. The bigamy laws were there. Look at the way these people act, look at their history, don't read Mormon shit. It is public relations, they spend two uh, all their money on two um, public relation firms to try to polish shit. So be careful. If you slam your door when the missionaries pound and say, we're representatives of the Lord Jesus Christ, could we come in? And you go, hell no, get out of here. Well, when the Mormons leave, they, they take the dust on the bottom of their shoes and they throw it at the door. Ah, they got Mormon points. They got points for knocking on the door, and when people rejected them, they could get more points by putting the dust of their feet, not having their, their pearls before swine. Look at these people, and then look inside Mitt Romney's head. This is the way he's been trained. He's from a polygamous family. His, his grandfather ran, I think, to uh, Mexico to avoid uh, uh, prosecution in the United States. He's a polygamist. In his mind, he's a polygamist. He doesn't have respect for women. Be careful. Look how these people act. Look at their history. They're trying to erase their history. Uh, Bruce Almer Conkey's book, uh, Mormon Doctrine, it's out of publication now. It's out of publication. You can't even buy it anymore. Uh, documented History of the Church, oh, they're changing that. You can't get that anymore. And uh, Journal of Discourses, oh, we don't believe that anymore. We believe in modern prophets. Look at these people. And then decide, do you want to be a Mormon? Oh my God, call them up, the missionaries will come in, they'll baptize you, and you give 10% of your gross income to them for the rest of your life, and you'll be happy, happy, happy until you go home and shut your door and go, what the hell have I gotten into? What the hell? Where is my common sense? And a lot of us, 100,000 of us a year, resign from the Mormon church when we come to our senses. Thank you very much.